If you had to guess, where would you say this footage was filmed? A tropical reef in the Caribbean, perhaps? Mexico, maybe? I know you guys already know the answer to this because you've read the title to this video, but I have played this game with a number of my friends and none of them ever guessed New York City. I mean, look at it. You've got yellow tropical reef fish, you've got a sea urchin, you even have bright orange sponges and vibrant, well-defined coral formations. But no, this is New York City. In fact, you can access this dive site from the subway. What the heck is going on here? Well, let's find out on this episode of Submerged Stories. A beautiful yellow fish we just saw is called a spot fin butterfly fish. And no, you're not going crazy. They're native to the Caribbean, not to New York City. So what are they doing in Coney Island? They're not here just to ride the cyclone and have a hot dog at Nathan's. They are actually strays flown here by the Gulf Stream. How exactly does that work? Well, actually our friends at Pixar explain it quite well. Okay, grab shell, dude. Grab one. Ah! You see butterfly fish lay pre-floating eggs. They go wherever the current takes them. And the strongest current that runs through the Caribbean is called the Gulf Stream. It starts in the Caribbean and runs north of the entire eastern seaboard of the United States. It will pick up some of these eggs and drop them off in New York. The thing is, butterfly fish breed in summer, which just so happens to be when New York's waters are at their warmest. This means when they get to take their exit off of the Gulf Stream, they actually don't find it so bad, and they can start to lay down roots and develop into juveniles in New York Harbor. The issue is that anyone who spent a winter in New York City knows that the waters don't stay temperate for long. And so the next question you have for me is probably, well, how do they get home? So look, you might want to sit down for this part. The sad reality is that the Gulf Stream is a one-way ride, and nature isn't like a Pixar movie. The fish need a temperature of at least 50 degrees Fahrenheit to survive, which is doable in New York up until October, but come winter, most of these little guys won't make it. While these butterfly fish dying in New York's waters may be a tragedy on an individual level, it actually makes a lot of sense from a species perspective, evolutionarily speaking. You see, the butterfly fish want to expand to as many different reefs across the Caribbean as possible, and having free-flown eggs is one of the most efficient ways of making that happen. The only downside is that, well, you know, for every butterfly fish that goes on to colonize a new section of reef, well, some wind up commuting to Brooklyn. Maybe we can take some comfort in the fact that this is not a new strategy, and that it's in fact been very successful for these fish for a very, very long time. In fact, we have early scientific records dating back to the 1890s, shown that they found butterfly fish in the temperate waters off of Woods Hole, Massachusetts. Back then, they made a note that this was not a new phenomenon. So common, in fact, that these type of fish have a name. They're called Gulf Stream Orphans, and these orphans continue to be studied by the scientific community up until this day. There's a very cool ongoing citizen science project that I'll link to in the description called the Gulf Stream Orphans Project, and they track where local scuba divers and biologists find these fish. You can see that these orphans wind up all up and down the eastern seaboard. Where do we go from here? What do we make of this quirk of nature that brings these beautiful immigrants to New York's waters? Well, I'm not sure that there is really much we can do other than enjoy the pop of color that these butterfly fish bring to New York's otherwise, well, let's face it, somewhat drab waters. From a philosophical perspective, it kind of reminds me of that Neil Young lyric, is it better to die young or to fade away? These butterfly fish have their answer. At least they burn bright while they're here. This has been Submerged Stories. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you're at all interested in the waters off of New York City, I highly encourage you to check out the New York Aquarium. It was diving off the aquarium that I filmed this footage of the butterfly fish, and I can't say enough good things about the institution. So if you're in the area, be sure to check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, you know what else you can do. You can leave a like, subscribe, or drop a comment, and let me know what you thought about this video. Thanks.